Well, hello scrappers and chemistry enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel. Well, it's unboxing day. It's been a while since I've done an unboxing video. I haven't really unboxed anything interesting in a while. So, I uh, got this in the mail yesterday. I've already had a peek inside just to make sure it is what I thought it was. I've been waiting on it for a while and some of you have been waiting on it for a while too and uh, strongly suggesting I get one of these so let's have a look inside see what I got yes I bought a box full of styrofoam no ah the plot thickens power cord ceramic top what have we got here Ugh. What we've got is something that's thoroughly stuck inside the box there we go ah Yes, it is a hot plate with the stir function. I'll give you a better look at it here. Yes, it's a Fisher Thermic Stirring Hot Plate Model 310T. And yes, it is used. I got it as a deal on eBay, used. So, um, seller says it works, so we'll see. We'll give it a test. Um, you know, I released a video not too long ago about commonly asked viewer questions, and one of them is, why don't I use a stir plate? Well, because the environment inside the fume hood is very harsh on metallic stuff. I go through hot plates like crazy. You know, they don't last me very long, maybe six months or so, okay? But, uh, so I wasn't willing to spend a lot of money on an expensive hot plate stir plate you know, to put in there just to have it rotted away in maybe six months by the fumes in there. So we'll see how long this one lasts. Like I say, I got it cheap because it's used. It's, uh, yeah, it's been well loved, that's for sure. Somebody else got the best years of its life, I think. But, uh, yeah, it's missing some feet. I may have to put some feet on it. So it'll sit level. It kind of rocks. That's not going to be good with liquid on it. So I'll put some rubber feet on it and uh, cut the wire ties off the cord and we'll give it a test and see how well it actually works. Okay, I rummaged around and I found some little rubber feet to put on it. Uh, these came off of a big label printer I scrapped out not too long ago. I scrapped out a lot of label printers. so. You know, I got a bunch of them on one of my scrap runs. Actually, I get them on a lot of scrap runs. And some of them are just so far gone, I scrap them out. And I keep the rubber feet, because they come in handy um, for putting on stuff, you know? They're free! Sometimes the best part for the job is something that's free, okay? Yes, I use these rubber feet on lots of things. So I'll just put four of these on here. And I'll just stick them on with some... Uh, double-sided tape. This is some really good strong double-sided tape. It's just incredibly sticky. It's... I'll put a link to what it is in the uh, in the description. I think they call this... Um, I forget what they call it. So I'll put a link to it in the description. It's It's scotch, but it's made by it's made by Scotch, but I can't remember what the exact name of this stuff is, but boy is it sticky. It's going to be pretty much permanent once I put this on there, so i got to make sure I get it in the right place. So I'll stick the other three on, and then uh, we'll be ready to test this thing. Okay, there we go. All four feet are on. Ow, oh, it doesn't rock. Nice. Rock steady. Okay. Time to test this thing out. Like I said, the seller said it all worked. Now I did point out a minor problem with their listing. I bought this off of eBay, by the way. And then I hit them with a, an offer. I don't like to pay full price for anything if they're taking offers. Actually, this guy wasn't taking an offer, but I contacted him and sent him one anyway after I noticed a problem with his listing. He accepted my offer. So new, this thing's going to cost a few hundred bucks. I got it for 75 which may seem like a lot for a used stir plate, hot plate. But um, it's much nicer than the cheap ones that I see new for sale on like Amazon or wherever, which don't have ceramic tops, 
you know they're not built as sturdy I mean this is this is real lab equipment here this is built to last for years it's already probably been in use for a few years but hopefully it's got some life left in it so let's get it plugged in and we'll see if it actually works okay let's see here well the light comes on and the lights I'm using for illuminating this filming blinked when I turned it on so that's telling me that probably it's drawing some current it's stone cold at the moment but we'll give it a minute to see if it's gonna warm up let me find a stir bar and we'll see if it spins too I actually had to buy some stir bars I know I have some somewhere but I couldn't find them these are pretty small ones I may have to buy some bigger ones too so we'll see if it spins as well well look at that it spins now the light blinks but I'm not too worried about that it does spin oh yeah it spins wow it spins fast all right so the cellar wasn't lying it actually works let's see yes it's starting to get warm too okay good we turn the heat up all the way and we'll see how hot it gets let it run for a couple minutes and uh, we'll see if everything keeps working we'll see if it keeps stirring and it keeps getting hot so we'll just let it run for a couple minutes I'll be back and we'll see how it's doing okay it's literally been like two minutes I've walked away from this thing I just put away the tape and the scissors and the wire cutters and I can smell walking back that something's gotten warm I can smell it wow it's heating up doesn't smell like it's burning or anything it just smells it's got the smell of you know something warm what do we got here 200 oh 252 C Wow that is hot already that got hot quick okay this thing is whoa yeah it is hot let me turn it down I don't know how hot it'll get but I don't foresee too many times I'm gonna need it much hotter than that all right so hey the seller wasn't lying the thing heats up and it spins perfect it works and I think I got a deal on it. Yeah, I could have got one of the cheap Amazon ones, you know. But uh, I'm hoping this one will hold up better even though it's used. So I'm going to have to... Uh, actually, let me turn it off and let it start cooling down so I can handle it here. I'll leave it spinning. Maybe the spinning magnet inside will help cool it down a little bit. I don't know. Um, so let me cool it down so where I can handle it and I'll have to find a home for it in the fume hood. I'll take out one of my uh, crappy cheap uh, hot plates in there and make room for this thing. I'll hold the hot plate in reserve. And uh, yeah, we'll get this thing in the fume hood and we'll do its inaugural extraction or whatever pretty soon. And uh, it'll be probably be in another video. But hey, that's great. And I hope some of you out there who've been telling me I need to do this for a long time will be happy. Because, okay, I got one. All right. So, anyway, that's the unboxing. I hope you found this video at least a little bit uh, interesting, educational, inspirational, whatever. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Subscribe to see future videos. Press that little bell icon that YouTube makes you press. It's, check out my second channel, ElectroGeek64. Got new content coming there real soon. I'm kind of filming it kind of in parallel with this so there's going to be new content coming there real soon so check that out subscribe and like there too please i appreciate it to help that channel grow and i will see you guys in the next video maybe with this thing bye